hates candy wrappers, screaming baby sticky seeds with 50 as a pop or kernels in his teeth. There's still not one that he won't see. Cause Doug loves movies. Hey, 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 everybody. My name is Doug, and I love movies. This is Doug Loves Movies! <laughs> we got some improvisers in the house. Coming to you once again from the almost closed but then saved punchline in San Francisco! Oh boy, oh boy, I love this club, and as many of you know, uh, it was so close to closing, but now it isn't, and uh, I say we all raise our glasses and drink to 40 more years. Yeah, and then I'll see you outside after, and we'll smoke to 40 years of that. <laughs> ah, what day is it? It's Saturday. <laughs> July 27th, 2019, and I can already feel a very strong name tag presence in this room. There isn't room in this room for some of these name tags. Why, why do you make the biggest ones and then also get here early and sit up front? <laughs> Those are huge. When you showed them to me on the internet today, I thought they were just like these little weenie ones over here. But holy shit, those are really nice. Alice in Wonderland and Br the Brian Giant. Byron. Oh, pardon me, Byron. <laughs> and your giant name tag. Uh, but could you both of you stand up and show the whole audience those name tags? Because those are amazing pieces of work. Yeah, spin around. Bend over. Well, great job there, Allison and Byron and everybody else. I'm already exhausted from... <laughs> what is that that's taped onto your wet, hot American Peter? <laughs> What's that? Animal crackers. Animal crackers. Why? <laughs> Just changing it up a bit? Sick of hearing about donuts on the show? Well, that's cool. Um... <laughs> Thank you to everybody who made name tags and uh, good luck in being chosen. Doug Plugs, this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, August 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, I'm doing shows at the Traverse City Film Festival. Go to tcff.org for info. I'm doing stand-up and Douglas movies at the Secret Group in Houston on August 7th and 8th. And Douglas movies comes for the first time ever to the Improv in Miami on Saturday, August 10th at 4.20. All my dates and deets and links are at DougLovesMovies.com. So raise your hand if you have no idea what just happened. <laughs> There's people, when they haven't heard the podcast before, are like, what? Now we're going to put out a little special drink I'd like everyone to drink. I'd like you to put on your serenity hats and your heaven shoes. Because this is a cult, you guys. Uh, let's see what I brought for the prize bag. There's always a uh, bag of prizes. It could be won by one of the persons who brought in a, uh, a name tag. And it's amazing stuff, you guys. It's really impressive. Like, a, uh, I was just in San Diego. I know because I have a magazine that says San Diego on it. And so you can read all about America's finest city. I mean, that's what they call it. I, I don't know what San Francisco's called. Is there an official name like that? Cold as fuck, Bill? 
Uh, my friends at uh, IFC Films sent, uh, like I said in a few episodes back, they sent a shit ton of uh, copies of uh, movies on DVD and Blu-ray. So we've got ones called Pick of the Litter and Tiny Furniture. I've only seen one of them. <laughs> the one that has girls in it. <laughs> Lena Dunham. Uh, it's all in a lovely uh, Blockbuster bag from the very last Blockbuster in the world. I went there a couple days ago in uh, Bend, Oregon. And yeah, and um, hold the rest of your questions until the end of the show. I've also got a Doug Loves Movies stickers and one more special prize that I want to, oh, two more things. A uh, poster from the uh, Cannabis and Cheese Tour. Uh, that I did with Dale Cheeseman a while back. Well, I made too many of them, so I'm uh, giving those away in all the prize bags. And also, we'll be selling them uh, after the show, along with uh, rockinpins.com uh, makes uh, pins of rock stars and comedians. And uh, they made one of my face. I'm trying to find it in this bag, but it's tiny. <laughs> so I, I don't know where it is, but there's one in here. And... Uh, and then we'll also have some out at the table on the way out. Uh, pins and posters, uh, they're $10 each, two for 20. And um, I know it's too hot in this room for math jokes. I feel it. But anyway, that's what the, the pin looks like and the, the one's going in the prize bag. Plus all the stuff brought by my guests today, three of the funniest people I know that are in San Francisco today. <laughs> Please give it up for my friends Chad Opitz, Amy Miller, and Greg Proops. Hi guys. What's up? Hi. Hi, Doug. Hi. What a lineup, holy cow. Right? How did this, I Good can't evening. believe this came together like this. This is so beautiful. Let's meet them individually, starting with the lady directly to my right. It's Amy Miller, everybody. Hi. What's up? What's going on, Amy? You so uh, stoked, Doug? came up to your homeland, your hometown. My home club, which is not closing. I'm so excited. Yeah. Best club in the world. Yeah, I put this, to this together because I wanted to get in one last show before it closed and, yeah. and be all sad and shit. Same. And uh, instead, I get you know still get to do a show and then uh, have a nice time because we've. Uh, the That's club why I came up. I was gonna be sobbing the whole time. Yeah. It might still happen. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Might as well. <laughs> it's, I think it's mo a more interesting listen when my guests cry. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Don't they all say that? Isn't that <laughs> doesn't Dr. Phil say that? <laughs> or Oprah used to. That's for damn sure. But uh, Amy, I just I, it is like a hot potato. I just uh, I'm so excited to share this with you. I can't wait. Uh, our friends at uh, Glass Action they make night lights of if you send a picture of your pet or a loved one, uh, whatever you want, maybe even just an inanimate object, whatever you want. <laughs> If you send them a picture of it, they will uh, turn it miraculously into a uh, working nightlight. Is this a gift for me? And I had them uh, make <gasps> two of you, and you get to keep one of them, and the other one's going in the prize bag oh today. Oh, my gosh! So there you go. There's Thank one of them. You, Doug. And then I just start sobbing. Yeah. yeah. This is, where, so this is where you lose it. Hooray. <laughs> Hooray. But look, there's two of them. Oh, my God. And they're slightly different, so pick the one you want to keep. One of them has green eyes, and one has hollow eyes. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with the green. You guys can have the scary one. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, let's give away the scary one. That is so Here, lovely. Do you want to put it in this box yeah, keep it for safekeeping? I'm yes, just going to throw do. yours into the bag. Okay. I mean, the, the prize winners. You've but, never uh, given me a gift before, besides well, your friendship there and you go. work. You know. <laughs> Oh, and I, I need to get a picture of you with it, you know, for my social meds and stuff. But uh, like I said, <laughs> just look for glass action to, uh, you know, get your own. They're I think they're only like $7,000 a piece. I may do one of my cat. I think it's a great idea. Meeps. Your cat's name is Meeps? Oh, yeah. 
She named herself. Well, you know what? You just secured yourself a booking on Doug Loves Cats, but for now, for now, I'd like to introduce my other guests, starting with the gentleman in the middle. of He's becoming a regular on the show. It's Chad Opitz, everybody. Hello. This is an Amy Miller referral. I, I like my <laughs> referral bonus, please. <laughs> Well, I was just going to say, Chad is in my top three Chads, I think. Oof. That's I won't, I won't rank them in order, but there's Chad Daniels, and then there's also that oh, country. Yeah. And, uh, That's a, oh, man. So those are my three Chads, if I had to name them. The Four most, would probably the be most that. most impoverished uh, country. <laughs> Chad. Uh, what are you uh, up to these days, Chad? Uh, this. This is it. This is it. This, this is, is your it, whole baby. deal. Yeah. No, don't you have to race out of here for a gig tonight? I do. I gotta head to San Jose Improv, if I'm allowed to say that at the punchline. I think you are. Here. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think... So I gotta head out as soon as this is over, so let's hurry this shit up! I don't think this club could be too upset that there's a show going on tonight in San Jose. That's true, yeah. <laughs> It's not a you tremendous rivalries, amount of man. crossover there. Bay Area rivalries. People will travel for one way or the other, but they, they don't like to as a general rule. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, everybody's like, just come to us. Yeah. Please. Do I, do I get a nightlight, Doug? Um, you know what? No. I, I could pull some strings and, um, okay. you know, you're going to have to go a few years in the dark. Okay. But uh, uh, yeah. uh, I, I think I could get it to happen. You're just like a light with a bushel of hair on it. That's all it is. Do you want one of me or just a different thing? No, my, my, yeah, my own mug. Mm. I would love yours, too. That'd be nice. That, that, that yeah. would be weird. Collect be, them all. That'd be sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, on the end, it's the great Greg Proops. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello, Doug's Love News people. Word to your mother. And this was going to be your big send-off weekend to That's the punchline. Right. Uh, now the club's saved, and it'll never move to North Beach and have an Italian restaurant like I was hoping. <laughs> or down to the waterfront with a seafood place, air conditioning, and a bathroom in the dressing. No, I guess we're going to stay here in this cramped-ass fucking place in the middle of the financial district for the next 20 years of my fucking career so I can die on the floor back there. So I'm pretty excited about it staying open. I'm making a live album this weekend. That's why there's these Soviet-era uh, microphones up here. <laughs> the album was going to be about how great the punchline was. I was going to tell a bunch of stories. And then two days before the gig started, um, no, we're staying open. So there goes the album. <laughs> so now I'm just improvising freestyle for an hour. And uh, my God, the crowd is eating it up with a spoon. <laughs> well, Does you it... do have stuff to talk about, like your recent uh, eye adventures. Yes, and how enchanting that really was. Uh, there's nothing like watching an older man talk about his health for an hour to really <laughs> whip a crowd into slobbering slaves for comedy. No, I've had a lot of eye operations, so everybody's in a real awesome 70s softcore haze to me. Vaseline-style Joan Collins early 80s movie. It's nice. I never want to see the crowd anyway, so it's a... Extra nice being blind and being a comedian. Yeah, I can't like, hear it. Uh, it's having a permanent Instagram filter put in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on vivid warm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's talk uh, prize bag real quick here. Uh, did you guys, uh, Amy, what do, you, what do you got? Oh, yes. Well, as you guys know, the punchline was almost ruined by... Um, the San Francisco tech scene, and I brought a collection of startup t-shirts <laughs> that you can wear. This one says Ticket Fly. I used to work there. Terrible people. Boss grabbed my ass many times. Uh, this one says Do Great Things. Don't know what company it's for. There's some that say Women in Product. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> Which one Wait, says right-wing troll supporter? <laughs> oh, this is, a, I guess, defunct. It just says Drift. Does anybody know what that is? Do you guys work for Drift? They're probably not hiring. It, it was like Uber, but the drivers like to slide around on the road a lot. They all came from Tokyo. 
Stay in your lane. And I then can, merch from the most important startup of all, Amy Miller. Um, it's a pillowcase that says I'm sleeping with Amy Miller. And they will be for sale after the show. I'll be out front selling oh, pillowcases and my album. Oh, that's great. They're all in a Facebook. We'll have a whole merch. Back. We'll have a whole merch scene out there today. It'll be great. Stop by. Photographs are free, right, Amy? I guess, yeah. Do we want to? <laughs> Let's talk about it after You don't let privately. people take pictures of you for free? We'll do a 60 40 You split. want a little something? I mean, I deserve it. Here you go. No, photographs are free. Actually, yeah. the CDs are pay what you want. That's true. Oh, there you Whatever go. Whatever you can afford. Okay. Pillowcase is 20 bucks, non negotiable. <laughs> I'll sign it, though. Oh, okay. I'll sign all the t shirts in that bag. <laughs> What do you got for us, Chad? Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Nothing as cool as a... P- if you get a pillowcase and a nightlight from Amy Miller, god damn. What a theme bedroom. Lordy begord. Oh, I didn't uh, think about that. I got The Book of Hugs by Attaboy. This is, no, this is just some shit I wanted to get rid of. You know? It's not that dope. Uh, and then I got a... That's uh, a Ultimate Warrior pin that says, Out of Control. Probably because he's all fucked up on steroids and such. And then I got a uh, nose eraser, which you can take with you to Miami if you want and put a straw through and do some cocaine or something. And a uh, 1984 VHS classic tape of Tom Hanks' Bachelor Party. Oh, yeah. Yes. Featuring the classic line, gentlemen, start your boners. It's, it's true. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this one's a real mind expander. It is. <laughs> There is a scene where a donkey does cocaine, so that's in there. Yeah. So there you go. You're going to have a wonderful night with this. Thank you, Chad. Oh, yeah. Pass it down. Yeah, all that's going in. What do you mm-hmm. got for us, Greg? Having only a month to prepare since you booked me on the show, I forgot to bring anything. So you don't get a book or a CD, but I got an Air Canada in my bag. Uh, I pulled out this awesome Air Canada pen that has, not only is it an effective writing instrument, it's got one of those little nubs so you can play with your phone on it, and then awesomely, it also has a flashlight. So the multi-purpose use of this, I think, outweighs the fact that I gave it no thought whatsoever and pulled it out of my bag just now. And uh, I, I, I commend any lucky winner to uh, enjoy that. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's for if yeah. you run an open mic, you know, you can light oh, people. Oh, yeah. And then to be honest, I don't want to give it away, but it was the only thing I had on me. <laughs> I didn't want to give you an orange magic marker, so I gave you a pen that I actually love because it has a flashlight on it. And the crowd just drifted away. They love it. You know, there's, you always, t- there's always new updates of the gift of the Magi. <laughs> <laughs> I brought frankincense. I brought an Air Canada pen with a flashlight in it. <laughs> well, thank you for uh, giving that up, Greg. And uh, I'd be happy to quietly pass it back to you if you really want to keep it. <laughs> we can surreptitiously do that before the show's over. And yeah, then, uh, no very one will surreptitiously. Here you go, Greg. Here's your pen. <laughs> thank you. It's I mean, so they're going to get so much stuff, Greg, <laughs> that they don't need that pen. Do you think Google's going to make the air conditioning better in here at some point, or is it going to stay this hot forever? Oh, my God. Know, but as a performer, I've learned the best way to deal with heat in the club is to bring it up, in case anybody was thinking it's not hot in here. <laughs> and that way you get everybody on the same page. Everybody's miserable. Why let anybody not suffer? <laughs> God, I'm glad they stayed open. (laughs) Part of that legacy grant should be a big old block of ice. And they could have a guy stand behind it and go, ooh. Part of the fun is that outside, the temperature is the coldest in the U.S. (laughs) Not today. It's a pretty nice day out there today, I got to say. Sorry, you guys. We'll all get through it. I still got, I'm going to keep my hoodie on to uh, make me hotter than I should be. I've never played without a coat and tie in about 100 years. Yeah. Oh, you think that's how you're going to do your shows tonight? No, no, it'll be cooler by then because uh, when the sun goes down, the temperature drops 87 degrees. (laughs) 
and the fog will roll in and there'll be rolling gusts of wind and it'll be nice. It'll be like Ice Station Zebra. You'll have to sleep with three dogs just to stay warm. San Francisco in the summer is rare. It's nice. It's the, it keeps people from the Midwest from moving here. Which is a goal. I mean, they do anyway, but... Then they tell you where they're from. I'm from Indiana. And you're like, yeah, you're here now. <laughs> Try to blend in. Join a Wiccan collective or something. <laughs> There's nowhere to park. Yeah, popular. Go back to Indiana. Park wherever you like. Man. <laughs> okay, so I have one question before we get to the uh, game portion of the show. And I'll start with Amy. And of course, you know what it is, right, Amy? I sure do, Doug. <laughs> they have french fries here? They do. It's, no, no, I'm yes. right. I've played here for a thousand years. I didn't know they had french fries. I gotta it's look at turning into more years. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I've never uh, had the fries here either, now that you mention it. Did you know that? Yeah. I didn't, I know, I didn't know they had them. Night. I didn't know it was an option. So, uh, I will look into it. Uh, was that the question? They got yeah. fries here? Amy, do they have fries here? Yes, they do. All right, Chad, same question. <laughs> what? Wait. I don't know, Doug. I can't tell if those are fries. That looks like a gummy worm to me. Pick that up. That's a limp-ass fry. Come on, punchline. We love it here. Crispy we love fries. it. fries. All right, so... Uh, <laughs> It's like, this, is, this show is just a long Yelp review. Yeah. <laughs> I saw Crawl. This guy, this guy over here just loves to chat it up like he's in a living room or something. Hey, dude. Yeah, hey, you guys right there, like, could you guys stop talking to each other? Like, you have something? Yeah, don't look around. <laughs> it's, it's you. Yeah, you and the gentleman next to you, you're not even sitting close enough to, to each other to whisper to each other. And you're speaking about everything that happens, and I can hear you, and it's extremely distracting. Okay. I love when you say stuff like that to me when they just look at you like, I did what? <laughs> Must be some other drunken asshole you're talking to. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, go ahead and discuss it for a little while, because that, that's what I was going for, is I really wanted it to continue rather than to stop. Because yeah, it's I, just quiet enough, Greg, that, of course, security's not going to pounce on them. No, but, it was, but it's annoying enough to know that they came from Hayward. <laughs> and those Hayward manners are coming to the fore. <laughs> we didn't know we were disrupting a live recording of a thing. So the question, see, and they're all chatting about it. I, seriously, like you don't need to talk to each other. You know what I mean? And certainly, if you're going to, sit close enough that you can whisper. <laughs> you guys keep turning around talking to the people behind you. Would you do that to the people sitting behind you in a movie theater? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I lasted as long as I could. I mean, five minutes in, he's talking to the other guy now. I'm literally going to have to throw you guys out of here. And I do not want to do that. Yeah, let's do it. You seem to be having... <laughs> you now seem, you're playing my song, man. Greg is on You board. seem to be having a nice time. You're not, you're not trying to be dicks, but just stop talking to each other. Can, can you do that for me? Can you speak to me when I speak to you directly? <laughs> What's happening? What's your name? You. Yeah, you. No, don't look around, man. What is your name? He's got to go. He's got to go. He can't even fucking answer the question. It's hard to know. It's a smattering of different people. No, I know it's, I know it's him. I've been watching him do it. Yeah, you just got to go, dude. I'm, I'm sorry. This is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I've never thrown it. Right? I'm sorry? Yeah. Yeah, the two of you, you and him, are talking to each other constantly. Do you not know that? You know it? So do you know you're not supposed to? What's that? My eyes were looking in the wrong place? Jesus Christ, you're the stupidest motherfucker I've ever seen. 
<laughs> now, wait a minute. I haven't been on this show no. in a year. Yeah, wait. It's re- the mood's really changed, man. <laughs> Used to be like a Grateful Dead show. Everybody's all happy and whatnot. Now there's shoddy people from Hayward getting called <laughs> stupid motherfuckers. <laughs> I love the changes you've made, man. Yeah. This show's picked up steam. <laughs> The whole punchline staff is just like, man, I already had another job lined up. God damn it. (laughs) He's going to go back to school. (laughs) I mean, am I crazy? What was happening? No, they were talking. Why was he talking when I didn't want him to? And then when I'm asking him to speak, he refused to say anything. They had to go. Everybody saw it. (laughs) You you did the right thing, Judge Kavanaugh. (laughs) By the stroke of my pen. My Air Canada pen. (laughs) He said I wasn't looking at the right person. Ma'am, is that true? Is it possible I was just not making eye contact with him? You're right, lady. (laughs) You guys better be careful. Be sure to fill out a comment card at your table. <laughs> so you guys don't even know those people? No. And they were turning around and talking to you constantly. Because <laughs> they're hella cute. <laughs> now I know who to blame. It's all your fault. Those poor people were just so in love with you. Those two guys and their mom or whatever was going. I could not figure out what was going on over there. Yeah. Like, do these three people really listen to Doug Lowe's movies? It didn't seem possible. And it was it was bothering you guys, right? Okay. Okay. A lot. They said, "Great. Now, now you speak up." (laughs) Yeah. Nobody knew who I was looking at, so everyone was on their best behavior. All right. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna go outside and smoke some weed. I think it's a good idea. You want me to take over from here? Because I've, I've seen this show you've before. Had these, you've had these dreams. <laughs> I don't want to run this cult. <laughs> I'm not strong enough. <laughs> sure you are. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! This is awesome. No shit. Is that this is the first time I'm not the biggest asshole on stage. Because I don't even deal with hecklers. I just nuke them from orbit. No one talks at my fucking show, or they're dead. I would rather the whole audience die than anyone talk during my show. And not today, man. I'm like fucking Mary Poppins on this show. With any work to be done, there is an element of fun. All right, that's going to cost me money. Um, <laughs> Cut that out, Rye. <laughs> Just dub in the words, Greg sang a copyrighted song there. I think you can cut a lot of this out, probably, Ryan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there might be some things I ask you to remove. Snip, snip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when Doug called them the dumbest motherfuckers that ever lived. <laughs> and the Peabody Award for Excellence in Broadcasting. <laughs> podcast comedy category. <laughs> How long does it take to get back to Hayward? 45 minutes. Nah, not today. They're not going to Hayward. You saw them. Oh, Hayward's a little too uh, too classy for them? Yeah. Okay. They're going to Antioch. <laughs> How Look, dare dude, you? They're not, they're not going to Blackhawk, man. <laughs> you saw what the dude looked like. Dudes. Dudes looked like. They knew there was French fries here. 
They smelt them while they were on the Vallejo Bridge. <laughs> oh, are you vaping? Where'd this come from? Oh, oh the ladies. Hella cute. <laughs> are we vaping? That was so nice. They gave you daddy's medicine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, and I feel really good now. So let's go ahead and bring those three people back in. <laughs> This is like the best episode of Punked ever. <laughs> I'd apologize to them, but they're not going to hear this. <laughs> That's my only way of knowing who they were. There's no way they bought their tickets online. I told you I had family coming, Doug. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's Elsa Brandy, Greg. And I'll kill you if you mention that one. <laughs> Okay, uh, here we go. <laughs> have, have you asked the question yet? No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, you stupid motherfucker. <laughs> uh, Amy, what was the last movie you saw? I saw Crawl, Doug. Crawl? Yeah. <laughs> Why is that funny? I don't know. Well, I'm, I'm really confused that it got such a positive reaction from... Uh, it's really is good. Is that your family over there? <laughs> She's black, first of all. So, yes. Yes. She's my new family. But it's... several people over there cheered for Crow. Have you not seen it? I have seen it. <laughs> I loved it. I didn't get it. I mean, I'm easily scared, but <laughs> it was fun. It's you supposed know? to be scary? Yeah, I was real scared. Oh, it was no. good. I love Sam Raimi. I love that girl. The star was great. She reminds me of Emma Arnold a little bit. We're talking about different movies now. No, we're not. I'm talking about Crawl. I'm talking about Crawl. 1983. No, With you're Krull? saying Crawl. With the Gators. Yeah. Yes. There's another movie called Crawl. Oh. And it's old and terrible. That and was, I was so shocked that, was my... that you just watched it, that people cheered about it, <laughs> that we're still talking about it. I'm sorry, that was my deep East Bay white trash accent coming out. I saw a curl. But I also should have known that there's a movie out right now called Crawl. It's, it's my fault uh, oh, as well. Oh, I think well. you'll like it. And I think I've heard that it's good, yeah. but I, every time I hear that about a horror movie, I go and I'm disappointed, like almost every time. Um, uh, I don't know. It's fun. It's just gators yeah. fucking biting people up mm -hmm. and a flood and it was great. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You go alone on I that one? I was scared. Oh, no. No, I was with two comedians. Okay. Deborah D. Giovanni and Caitlin Gill. Nobody knows. <laughs> yeah, give me a shout out. Yeah. But I know uh, you like to just go, you'll go to a movie by yourself. You don't care. I go to movies by myself all the time, but um, I can't see scary movies alone because I'm <laughs> just scared. So they were there to hold me, and then it was fun. Um, it was more fun than I... Th Sam Raimi made some very funny choices also. You know, he's a silly Billy. <laughs> <laughs> he is a silly Billy. <laughs> and gators are scary. and They're scary in real life. They're all messed up now. They, people are dropping meds in the water supply, and they're like, rah, I'm on Xanax and meth. <laughs> I'm a gator. <laughs> It was great. Okay. So good, right? Okay, see? Yeah, all right. Now we're back to where it should be. A small amount of people have seen and loved Crawl. <laughs> and, I, and I can go back to disliking Crawl. Sure. Chad, I watched... please enunciate. Yeah. I watched Crawl. Okay, no. I saw The Art of Self-Defense, uh, which that family from Modesto could have used against your vitriolic words, Doug, <laughs> to defend themselves against your hate, Doug. I mean, I'm glad they didn't come yeah, running at yeah. me. <laughs> I brought the show to a screeching halt. I'm sorry. Well, did you like it? Yeah, what did you think of that movie? I did movie? enjoy it you very dumb much. I did. I did like it. I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it. You're being addressed, Chad. I'm sorry. Respond. I'm sorry. 
make a value judgment about the goddamn movie you yeah. saw. I liked it. it oh, Jesus. Yeah, I'm sorry. Bring some adjectives to the buffet. <laughs> it was an enjoyable romp. There you go. Yes. Jesse Eisenberg was his delightful, awkward self, and I had a good time with it. You I know. thought you said he was good on this podcast, Doug. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> it's just a little joke. He only got me on here because he saw me do a somersault once, and he enjoyed it. <laughs> hey, you know you're always welcome to do it again if, That's you, know, true. if you want to win yeah. back the crowd. That's true. We'll see what happens, baby. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Okay. It seemed like it was going to happen right then. Right then? Is that when he wanted it? Oh, my God, It seemed man. like everyone really wanted it to happen. Do it. Do you want... He does like a whole lap. On the top of the bar? Oh. I got a very bad feeling about this. (laughs) Well done. That's why. That's why he has me on here. When you get some material, your act's going to be awesome. Because <laughs> you got that whole flip thing at yeah. the beginning and whatnot. <laughs> Greg, it gets even better. I've seen him do that while dressed up as a bowl of soup. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Clam chowder, apologies. Oh, yeah, you were there. Chowder. Apologies Clam to everyone chowders. I hurt with that. It's okay, a chowder I got, town. You've got a real be mean streak today. <laughs> I know. Did someone say fucking chowder? <laughs> it's okay. Chad, don't look at that. Chad her. Chatter. What was the last movie you saw, Greg? Well, as you know, Doug, I have my own film podcast, and we show pictures of the Egyptian we, um, we, uh, in Los Angeles, uh, Jennifer and I, and uh, my, who's my wife, and uh, we showed Willy Wonka uh, last week, so that was the last movie I watched. And it's still... Bloody marvelous. It got huge laughs, and there's a million memorable lines. And then you remember that you use those lines all the time in your real life. Like he goes, uh, 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 Oh, I'm sorry, I'm a trifle deaf in this year. And what was the other one? I'm s- all questions must be submitted in writing. There's yeah, so yeah. many. And Mike yeah. TV goes, Television works like this. And he goes, You should open your mouth a little wider when you talk. <laughs> and then my favorite line in the whole picture um, uh, There's no such thing as a Snowsbury. We are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams. That part's awesome. And we're showing Babette's Feast at the Aero in Santa Monica on August 7th. Ooh. Yeah, getting already. Yeah. It's no crawl. Uh, <laughs> none of us can quote that one. <laughs> and there's a gator coming. Yeah. I meant his movie, not, I meant the Babette's Feast. Unless they say things like, I'd like more, please. Yeah. Why, this is a feast. (laughs) I would like to thank Babette. It's in Danish, so. Oh, so it's all pastries? Yes. I was going to say, it's a very long breakfast is what the movie is. (laughs) All right, so. uh, Running way behind, Mm. obviously. But Anybody else want to try us before we get going here? <laughs> <laughs> We're taking all, all comers on this DLM. <laughs> I'm sweating. Oh, yeah. Like Don't a Republican at an NAACP conference. <laughs> Here's the part where I say, let the games begin! Lady and gentlemen, please pick your name tags. We did it! It's warm in the room, but people still had the energy to yell out, pick me, pick me. So uh, I I don't envy you guys having to select just one, but uh, who are you playing for, Amy? I'm playing for Ralph, right? Um, And this is Doug Benson in The Ralph, which is like the jerk, but I picked it because it has pot. Oh, it does attach to it? Yeah, for me, not for you. No, I get it. I just wanted to see it. It has Maybe a it. space coyote <laughs> joint. Is that I mean, good? That does sound good. <laughs> <laughs> not I really mean, a weed guy. It's not a normal day when you feel like you're a space coyote. Thank you, darling. Thank you. You're the best. Can I get a 
Do tip the uh, wait staff here working in this heat. No, They're awesome. I'll drink yeah. later. They're all really nice. Thank you. No, just tip them. Don't applaud. <laughs> just give them money. It doesn't take, you know, you're not going to sweat from doing that. You got, you got to save your energy for all these exciting games <sighs> that we're about to play. Starting with a little something called Purple Rain Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A.K.A. Goodwill Hunting Glorious Bastards. Do you want to know who they're playing for? No. <laughs> There's not time, Listen, Amy. Listen, Amy, Sorry. I'm trying to streamline this thing, <laughs> and now we only talk about one name tag. <laughs> no, Chad, who are you playing for? Uh, this is Raiders of the Lost Ark. Hell yeah. And Raiders, And I can't baby. tell if that's Ray in the Indiana Jones role or Macklemore. Doesn't that look like Macklemore? That does look like Macklemore. I thought that was Macklemore. <laughs> So I was like, that makes no sense, so I'm going to grab that, because I like nonsense. Oh, good choice, then. Yeah. You did it. And Greg. Um, By- Byron, is it? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm playing for Byron. I was attracted by my gigantic head. Yeah. It's a giant poster that says, the Byron Giant. And uh, he's put a picture of me from what appears to be early 2000s Who's Line, <laughs> by the look of it. <laughs> yeah, uh, you could just throw that on the floor or anywhere to, so it doesn't uh, no, block I'll, I'll anybody's view. I'll let it loom view. behind me. Yeah, that's good. That works. Got another cocktail coming in. Who's, who's this one for? Coming in hot. Thank you, Chad. Thank you. There you go. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, darling. All right. Now we're going to play Yay. Purple Rain Man, a.k.a. Goodwill Hunting Glorious Bastards. Yeah, I'm going to tell you guys the... Third build stars of a movie mashup title of my creation, then the second build stars, then the first build stars, and then uh, as soon as you guess as often as you like, the two titles that I've mashed together. Make sense? Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm glad it makes sense to the audience. You're not playing, so be as confused as you want to be. I was just making sure that my guests on stage understood because this is this is uh, you know. I don't want to say it's hard, but it's tricky. Third build in my movie mashup title are Abby Cornish and John Goodman. John Goodman, often probably third build. Third so build. not the greatest clue in the world. What was the mashup title? Purple Rain and Goodwill Hunting? Yes. <laughs> It's just the name of the game. Oh. Oh, I thought that led us sort to where we're going with this. Well, it, it did does. in the sense that you want two titles that go together as Purple Rain Man does. Oh, I see. You know what I mean? Okay. Second build, Vanessa Hudgens and Tom Hanks. Yeah. Is this two movies or one movie? It's two movies. <laughs> I know I race past the part where I say, do you understand? Yeah. I never answered yes. <laughs> Vanessa Hudgens. And top build in the first movie in the title is Emily Browning. And in the second movie of the title is Sally Field. Oh, God damn me. So I'm one movie's got Abby Cornish, Vanessa Hudgens, and Emily Browning. The other one has John Goodman, Tom Hanks, and Sally Field. The other one has John Goodman, Tom Hanks, and Sally Field. So it you know all those movies, line? the three of them. There it is, oh, Chad yeah. Opitz. Thank you, buddy. Sucker I'm, punch it, line. It was the Sucker first punch one. line. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, I got the punchline part. I was like, "What's the thing?" That was I a just guessed, Chad, that was a genius. toughy one. Yeah, that was a tough one. Uh, but also, uh, you know, scribbled it down as a tribute to the punchline. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that movie's so accurate. Punchline is like a documentary about comedy. When they go to their lockers backstage, how many times am I right, guys? When we come in at night, we hang up our shit, and we're like, how you going tonight? Like, I got a new knob gag. It's going to kill. Yeah, there's always that one guy changing into his nun costume. Mm-hmm. You're not buying your jokes in a back alley somewhere? Uh-huh. <laughs> I've gotten some tags from Barry Sobel. It's okay. Right? 
Yeah, that's a good one when uh, Tom Hanks makes, or they both do, don't they? Or one of them makes up a whole set at a Tonight Show audition. Yeah. <laughs> Just makes it up on the spot. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. As you would, yeah. yeah. Well, again, though, complaining that a movie about comedy is inaccurate is like saying that, you know, Avengers is an inaccurate depiction of superheroes or whatever. <laughs> Movies have no responsibility to be truthful. Oh, I thought you were calling us superheroes. (laughs) Well, we have assembled, and you did magically throw four people out of a room. That's true. Without using your physical strength. So (laughs) by the virtue of the power you have, they left. So you kind of are a superhero. You're Magneto Whale. I mean, you did say you were having trouble seeing. It It was three people. Yeah, but one dude was huge. <laughs> Wasn't he? He's was a big man. I feel like all three of them met for the first time outside. <laughs> yeah, near the chuck wagon. <laughs> so they had a lot of catching up to do. Oh, I would laugh so hard if they were like waiting outside after. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> I would. It would be so weird. <laughs> We didn't like what you called us. And we've been building a small weapon for the last hour and a half. (laughs) We're from San Leandro, not Hayward. (laughs) So who's the dumb MF now? (laughs) Fooled you. You dumb M fucker, that didn't clean it up enough. was a mother. Self-throwing out right here. This guy's just... Yeah. <laughs> wow. He's had enough of himself. I won't take the San Leandro hate. Comedy defenestration. <laughs> I'm flinging myself from the top of the punchline. <laughs> oh, everybody be careful when you're walking around the vape pens on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Um, you just got I'm not going to say who you got a really long text from, but it makes me laugh. <laughs> Why, you don't think of him as much of a wordsmith? I don't know. Oh, I got to look at who it was. Jonah Ray? <laughs> yeah. He's not allowed to write a long text? <laughs> it just makes me laugh. He's watching a movie and I had a funny thought and there were no robots there. <laughs> <laughs> I know who likes movies. <laughs> He's probably loving them as I type this. <laughs> that <watching>. stupid motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Who's he supposed to text? Car talk? Aw. R.I.P. R.I.P. Clack, maybe. Maybe Aww. click, I don't know. <laughs> now, it's time, now it's time to play ABCD's Nuts. <laughs> Uh, this is another one you may not be completely familiar with, Greg, but uh, it's, it's pretty, pretty easy when you get down to it. We're going to start with Chad. I'm going to give him a letter. He's going to name a movie that begins with that letter. If he names any movie that begins with that letter, he stays in the game. And we proceed thusly. But if anyone writes down the movie that I wrote on this piece of paper before the show, if we match, then you win this game automatically. And we're going to spell, because I was just there in Bend, Oregon, Oregon at the last Blockbuster. So we're spelling Blockbuster. And in the answers, a theme will emerge. But since Chad's such a smarty pants, he has to go first. We'll see what happens. <laughs> spelling Blockbuster, so of course, and we'll go to Amy second and then Greg third. Chad, name any movie that begins with the letter B. Uh, but, try, but try to match me. Because it's amazing when it happens on the first one. I'm thinking it. I'm trying to send it into your brain. A movie that begins with the letter B. Bubba Hotep. I had to look. That's how close. <laughs> no, it's, no, it's not close at all. Ah. I, I, wrote, I wrote down Black Panther. <laughs> oh, shit. Pretty different from my hometown. <laughs> uh, L is your letter there, Amy. Any movie begins with L, but the first movie we've got on the theme is Black Panther. Um, 
love actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to stay in. Yeah, staying in is the key. <laughs> I went with Logan. God damn it. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, you think you're so smart? You wait, you wait. <laughs> oh, is your letter, uh, Greg? Any movie begins with O. Oh. Well, I know we're working toward a theme here, but I can't think of anything, so I'm going to take you back to when George Burns was in movies and do Oh, God. Mm. Yeah, or you could have done Oh, God, you uh, book two, you devil. You devil. Oh, God, you devil, <laughs> yeah. book two. It was crazy. Too yeah. many words. Oh, it was a franchise. Yeah. Um, I did not write that down. No, I didn't think so. But no one would have guessed what I did write down. Operation Red Sea. Wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and if you guys remember to ask, I'll tell you why later how that got how that got on the list. The sequel to Operation Dumbo Drop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they dropped him in the Red Sea and then later had to replace it. Yeah. <laughs> the next letter is C to Chad. Mm. Catwoman. Catwoman is not a bad guess. I wrote Captain America Civil War. Mm. K to you, Amy. Um, uh, I'm going to say kids because I don't know what is going on. <laughs> I want to know what's going on, but I don't. Yeah, but kids does begin with a K. I chose (laughs) Kung Fu Panda. (laughs) Two. (laughs) B is the next letter, Greg. Batman. Oh, why didn't I? That would have been really (laughs) the perfect thing. (laughs) Uh, I put Bohemian Rhapsody. Practically the same movie. <laughs> Chad, uh, we're back to, uh, the, or not back to, it's the first time, letter U. Mm. Up in the air? Oh, I went with up, just kidding. Oh! <laughs> no, I went with very close to up, just two letters. Us. Oh my God. Us. Amy? What the S hell? is the next letter. What do all these movies have in common? I really wish I knew, Doug. I think that you wrote Sense and Sensibility, right? <laughs> right? I, you know, it's not, that's not a crazy guess. Thank you. Yeah, but it's not what I wrote down. I wrote down Star Wars, Episode Four, New Hope. T. You have to take the T, Greg, in Blockbuster. What T movie can you come up with? When, when you talk about a Star Wars movie, there's a bunch of them. Does it have to, it, the, does that necessarily, can you say the title of the movie and then it's, or Star Wars has to come first, I guess, right? I think Star Wars comes first Okay, now. all right, all right. Uh, then the never ending story. Oh, good. I wrote Titanic. Oh, I see. Blockbusters. It's taking me this long. Oh, my God. Okay, okay. Uh, E is the next letter, Chad. Okay, man. All right. Well, you cracked it, Greg, right? Blockbuster, blockbuster. Like Sense and Sensibility, okay? It did quite well at the box office. You're right. So if I'm going Blockbusters, Uh letter E. Uh Uh-huh. It's got to be Ernest Scared Stupid. I was so close to writing that, but I s- foolishly went with E.T. the Extra God Terrestrial. Damn it! And then R is the final letter in Blockbuster. Give us one more Blockbuster. And that's true. Operation Red Sea is, is in the top 400 movies all time at, at the box office. And I don't even know what that is. <laughs> you know what else made a ton of money? 
Roadhouse. Yeah! Oh! oh! I know what it is. I know I you got I so that. wished I had written that down. Can, what can is I it, guess? Yeah. Raiders of the Lost Ark? No! Really? Oh, no. No, this one ranked a little higher. I mean, more recent movies obviously are making more because of the, oh, sure. you know, we're not necessarily adjusting for inflation here. But, um, you know, because Gone with the Wind's still like number one or whatever, if you do that. But, uh, no, <laughs> I went with Rogue One. Oh. A Star Wars story. Yeah. Uh, yeah that one. It really opened my yeah, eyes. Yeah, but see, I just asked, can you say, oh, but Rogue One is called Rogue One. Rogue One yeah. yeah. But you know what? Roadhouse is better than Rogue One. Thank you, Greg. Right. Agreed. I what? mean, from now on, we can call it Star Wars Rogue One, a Star Wars story, mm. if you like. <laughs> I'm happy to change it. I just have to make a few calls. <laughs> <laughs> So cute. All right. So <laughs> hella cute. But those games are just for fun. <laughs> uh, this last game is going to determine a winner tonight, and uh, we're going to play Last Man Stanton. <laughs> this is where I like to play along. We're going to get the name of an actor or actress from a predetermined audience member who reached out to me on social media. And then we're gonna take turns naming movies that person was in. If you can't think of one, you're out. Or if you say one they weren't in, we'll discuss it with you. We'll see what happens. And um, uh, you have one lifeline. You can go to the person whose name tag you chose. You can go to them one time for help. And if they can't help you, you can take out your phone and call a celebrity. But really? O- but only if your lifeline can't help you. And we have to all have to agree that that's a celebrity. <laughs> And then you have to get them on, the, they have to answer the phone. So I just won't answer if you call me. I'm gonna call Jonah Ray, he's available. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you might have also helped uh, some of the other competitors that might have Jonah Ray's phone number. Uh, but uh, it usually doesn't come down to that. Where is Maya and Dante's dad? What? Where are you? Hey, dude. Uh, what's your name? Charles. Charles. Couldn't fit that into your long Insta handle. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you don't listen with your uh, child to the show, do you? Uh, Dante, yeah. Dante, you do? Yeah. How old is Dante? Fifteen. Fifteen? Oh, okay. So he already knows, dumb motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> he sees him every day. <laughs> Wait, why did we go, oh... Charles has done was nothing burning, to you. Was I burning Charles with that? Yeah. <laughs> we don't know that his kids see him every day. We don't know how good a father he is. He named his child Dante. I mean, that's pretty fucked up right there. <laughs> it is a good name, see? All right, but don't, don't listen to this episode with him. Save it for his birthday. <laughs> Especially if you guys live in Hayward. Yeah. That would be too much for poor Dante. Uh, all right, so what's your suggestion, sir? I'm going to go with uh, Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon. Oh, my Lord. There's a million, million Kevin Bacon titles. That's, that one's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, there's so did many. Dante put you up to that? Because he really, he is putting us in hell right now because... <laughs> Kevin Bacon is, did you know that, it's on the record, he's in, been in 2,000 movies. God damn it. <laughs> he has been in a lot of movies, though. All right, so uh, I'm going to go, I'm gonna go get a second name, because I think it's a fun challenge to add another name. Where is Sean Logic? Right here. Hey, dude. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you what's up. <laughs> We got bacon. Are you going to suggest John Hamm? No. Our <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. I've I, I got more questions for you. Are, you. are you a smart person? You are? Are you Say sure? Because yes. you look like... Wouldn't that be weird if that's what that show, this show turned into as I just call people dumb motherfucker? <laughs> I couldn't do it. I could. He's so nice. I was gearing up for it, but I couldn't make it happen. So, what's your uh, suggestion? Uh, Robin Williams. 
Robin Williams graced this stage many times. Yes! It was his birthday last week. That's probably why that picture fell off the wall in the green room when we were hanging out back there. Because Robin was just like, shit, I would like to be part of this. Yeah. I'd like to say, I'd like to be at the not farewell party. I'd like to be at the it's not really going away party. Two shows tonight with Greg Proops. I think the first one sold out. Oh, hooray. Yeah, but uh, seats available for the second. So, and I'm uh, on the second one. Bonus. Oh, look at you. Amy's going to be doing a, a magnificent two-minute set in the second show. It's going to be all joke, about Hayward and San yeah. Leandro. Oh. Just a lot of deep cuts. I'm going to call everyone a dumb motherfucker for two minutes. And get out of there. I mean, uh, nobody really thought two minutes sounded that crazy. <laughs> like, I know, that was That's weird. about as much as we could take. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably all she can do. <laughs> that's all she's got. <laughs> Tight two. All right. Uh, okay, so this is, this is, uh, is going to take a second. Uh, I hope nobody's in a hurry to get out of here, and I hope Greg doesn't mind his show's starting late tonight. Uh, because we are going to take turns naming. We'll try to go quickly because these are. This is a rich, rich tapestry to choose from. Uh, out of all the Robin Williams films and all of the Kevin Bacon films, you can name any one as long as it hasn't been named before. But you have to say the exact correct title. Yeah. <laughs> Talking to you, Craig. Start with me. No, I said I was talking to you oh. about the uh, Oh, the exact the right title. title. Yeah, yeah, no. I've noticed that meticulousness is the hallmark of this show. <laughs> All about housekeeping on this show. <laughs> Tidy around the corners. <laughs> I want to be able to bounce a quarter off this thing, man. <laughs> Fastidious, said the New York Times. Punctilious, said Variety. Chad gets to go first. Greg will go second. Then me, then Amy, and we'll just keep going around. I think we got this. Chad? I'm going to go with uh, one of Robin Williams' most beloved films, Jack. <laughs> okay, I don't like your attitude. <laughs> Feeling feisty. <laughs> me then? Uh, yes, sir. Good morning, Vietnam. Mm-hmm. It's hard to say it without yelling. I was uh, just getting, I almost did it. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, Vietnam! Yeah. Get into it. <laughs> Adrian Cronauer. Um, okay. Um, well, we already said it, so I'll say it now. Good Will Hunting! <laughs> I'm going to go with Footloose. Mm. Footloose. Which, which one did you do? Footloose. Footloose. <laughs> Isn't that Robin Williams? <laughs> <laughs> Chad? Oh, Moscow on the Hudson. So Why we are can, you going deep okay. early? That's an interesting... <laughs> we can do either? Interesting pull, yeah. Either just, star? Just either one. Dumb mother. You could switch back and forth. I get out. I'm going to ask you a question later, because there's a Kevin Bacon movie that I can't remember the name of, but it's fucking great. Uh, Tremors. Yes. Oh, that's so good. So good. Very good, very good. Um, National Lampoon's Animal House. Aladdin. <laughs> Animal House. And then what'd you say? Aladdin. Almost Mrs. the same movie. <laughs> Mrs. Doubtfire. Yay! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> what dreams may come. Oh. Paging. <laughs> Paging Patch Adams. <laughs> Patch Adams, we've got your nose. That was a solid Patch Adams joke. I don't know why. That was good. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm going to go with... It is with a sad movie. Wild Things. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Okay. The show is dong in that. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to you, I was going to say d the word dong also. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why either. <laughs> that exact word seems perfect for it. It's not small, and he's very small as a man. 
Ooh. And that's what happens. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, this lady's mm. fuck some short dudes. Thank you. We'll be back with more of <laughs> Sex with Dwarves. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Amy brought up a uh, Kevin Bacon penis movie. I'm bringing up a Robin Williams penis movie. Oh, oh World's yes. World's Greatest Dad. He's hanging dong in that film. So. <laughs> Take that, Bacon. Thank you, Jack, for that. Survivors. Uh-huh. With Walter Matthau. Um, Walter Matthau. Yeah. Who and, called uh, himself, you guys, Walter Matthau called himself the Ukrainian Cary Grant. Damn. Okay. God, those three people left would have loved that one. I'm so, I, feel so, I feel so bad <laughs> that they missed out on that. Um, I'm going to go with our buddy Bobcat Goldthwait's movie, Shakes the Clown. Yeah. Um, the Fisher King. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which one? Fisher, Fisher King. King. Fisher King. He yeah. only can't hear me. I don't know no. what. <laughs> I'll Just say direct I'll... all of your answers <laughs> to Greg. <laughs> I'm deaf as a post. <laughs> I'll say Awakenings. Mm-hmm. That's the name of that one. God yeah. damn it. Sorry. <laughs> oh, through my mind. Someone just took his El Dopa. The one where he plays Oliver Sacks. Yeah. It was what the, the prequel to Patch Adams. God damn name is that one. Movie. Yeah, right? Um, oh, it's on me. Is it? uh, yes. Uh, this is an exciting one. Uh, it's going to uh, take a second. What am I on here? Bacon. Oh, Jumanji. Oh, oh, what? Oh, yeah. Yes. They don't, I never saw, I didn't, I should say, I tried to see the new Jumanji, but I didn't get through it. Um, I didn't think it was bad. I just was sleepy and then in a recliner. But um, <laughs> do they sh- show or mention Robin Williams at all in it? Yeah. yeah. They do? They do? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, then I'll go with Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. <laughs> hey. Wow. No, it's just mentioned. It's just mentioned. I'll take it back. I trust you guys. If it's just a mention, I'll take it back. But like for Will Smith, you can always go with that shitty Independence Day sequel because they do show a picture of him. We're not playing Will Smith today. We're playing Williams, comma, Robin. And you can't talk Robin Williams without saying the words, death to Smoochie. Uh, Dead Poet Society. Mm-hmm. Dead Poet Society, Greg. <laughs> Chad. Friday the 13th. Whoa, neat. Nice. nice. Neat, deep cut. Uh, Jakob the Liar. Ooh, that's fancy. It was his Beni- uh, Robert Benini- Roberto Benini movie. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Um, okay. The World According to Garb. Mm hmm. Uh, toys. Oh! Toys. Toys. That was a weird movie. Uh, she's having a baby. Yes. Very brief Kevin Bacon appearance. A few good men. film. Isn't he in that one? Kevin Bacon yeah. is in A Few Good Men. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, he is. He's also <laughs> in... Oh, 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 oh. What the fuck was that one called? Exactly. You know what I mean? The one where he was all, and they were like... <laughs> I'll go back to Robin Williams. That's, that's safer for me. Uh... <laughs> I think. Holy shit. It might be the end of the road. What? I know, right? No way. I'm just I've blanking never seen out. this. You don't get a lifeline? Well, I just don't. Left? I don't think it's fair for me to take forever, you know? If I can't think of one quickly, I should move it along. I agree. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Night at the museum! No! I'm gonna go with Flubber. <laughs> <laughs> no! Yes. Flubber. 
flubber. Oh, no one saw a flubber coming. Oh, I love um, him. Not even Robin Williams. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't. Uh, murder in the first. Mm. Bicentennial man. Oh, oh, shit. That whipped around fast. I can't, you know, I can't think. I'm just like, gonna just have to practically repeat what Greg just said. <laughs> Cadillac man. <laughs> RV. Oh! Wow. He's, he's done every vehicle. <laughs> RV. Yeah. I saw that one on a plane. Yeah. And I walked down. <laughs> I told you I'm improvising. Yeah. Two shows tonight. Get those tickets, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> The Woodsman. Oh, oh, sweet Jesus! The lighthearted yeah. romp. Yeah. The lighthearted romp. Oh, cock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I'm. Uh, I might be pulling up short here. All right. Well, you go to your lifeline. I'll keep you oh, in the game for line? a little bit. Yeah. Whoever you, Byron. Byron. Oh, can Byron. You out? Byron, you got one. X-Men First Class. X-Men First Class. Yeah. Robin Williams' greatest movie. <laughs> Thank you, Byron. Kevin Bacon has a great death scene in that uh, where uh, a, a coin goes through his head. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Pretty memorable. And then the songs, the songs that he sings after they put the coin in him <laughs> are all incredible. <laughs> Oh shit, I had a good Robin Williams. Oh fuck. Oh, I was so excited. Oh, 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 oh. One hour photo. Ah! <laughs> what was the last one you said, Greg? Uh, Bicentennial Man, I think. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. X-Men first. Oh yeah, because oh. the what was your last one, Chad? Do you remember? <laughs> so long. Sorry, I didn't mean to change the game on you guys. <laughs> Now let's play Remember the Last Thing You I Said. Remember what the fuck I said. RV! <laughs> yeah, you're RV. <laughs> All right, so we're... Oh, I said we? Woodsman. That's what Oh, I yeah, there you go. All right. Neither of those helped me. I thought they, I thought they might have, but, but they didn't. Is it my turn? Is it? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Ralph. Fern Gully, The Last Forest. Fern Gully. Ralph says Fern the Gully, last forest. The Last Forest. Nice. That was a very nice pull. That's amazing, Ralph. <laughs> Chad? Popeye. Oh! Oh, shit! Of course! Holy hell. God damn. I'm looking for celebs. Dude, that phone. was awesome. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, <laughs> your, life, your life line will be fine. You're not going to need to call anybody. I've got Are the one. I've got one in my mind here. Oh, so then yeah, you, you, that's it. Sorry, Greg. <laughs> but I can't think of the goddamn title. But it oh, was, one of those. Yeah, <laughs> that's tricky. Um, <laughs> Shh, I, don't don't yell out answers, please, right. or say them quietly like that guy did. But I still heard it. <laughs> yeah, you still hear it. Yeah, uh, I guess if you whisper around, Greg. He did we have Club it. Paradise? No, we haven't. I kept, I kept thinking, is it Hotel Paradise? I couldn't think of the right yeah, Club Paradise, wording yeah. of it. So Club Paradise, you're still With in Peter it. Peter O'Toole and Robin You're still Williams. in it. And uh, I have to recuse myself on, I'm just going to take it out of the game for everybody, and I'll, I still have to say another answer, but uh, I heard a guy say Hook. Oh, of course. Yeah. Or a lady. I can't see that far back in the... <laughs> Somebody said it. <laughs> um, so instead of that, I'm going to go with, I'm going to say Robin Williams was in a movie <laughs> called A Night at the Museum Battle for the Smithsonian. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Wait, I don't get to call a celeb in addition? No, no, you're, oh. if your lifeline had failed you, then you oh, could have I see. picked okay. up the phone. But your lifeline succeeded. Okay, for Kevin Bacon. You got it. Six degrees so of separation. Many. <laughs> they mention him, but they don't show him. I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure. 
Oh, no. I know. Somebody's so sad over there. It's hella cute. She's so sad. But the punchline's going to remain open. <laughs> I'm sorry if I wasn't looking at the right person. <laughs> Chad? Uh, Stir of Echoes. You're gonna win Damn this, it. Damn it! It's a bike messenger movie, and I can't. <laughs> and I think it's called Relentless or some goddamn thing. Ceaseless, <laughs> indomitable, <laughs> silver wheels. I can't. Oh! Remember. I can't remember the name. So of it. close! You're if, if, if you're just too slow. What was it? <laughs> you almost the silver is so close, but you can't I, be I, so slow. I'm taking myself out. I don't know what. You're I, too slow. Ceaseless, relentless. Quicksilver. Oh, Quicksilver. Quick. He's a bike silver. messenger. This is an 80s movie when there was mm-hmm. loads of bike messengers in San Francisco, and he rode a 10 speed, which no bike messenger rode ever because <laughs> you would be killed on one. And they used to smoke dope in Leedsdorf Alley right over here. Well, I worked I work downtown for a while. <laughs> All right, so Greg is out, and Chad is up. House of D. Wow. Oh. No one believes me that that's a movie. <laughs> that's a movie. Parker Posey? I think is she, Was she in that? David that's Duchovny House directed of, yes. that one. David yeah. Duchovny? Yeah. Okay. Who, which one? Bacon was in it? No, uh, Robin Williams. Robin Williams was in it. Oh. A yeah. little, little small part in that or something? Or? No, he had a pretty big part. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's on the, the video box. Did he have as big a part as Kevin Bacon had in Mystic River? Ooh, nice. (laughs) (laughs) I go, uh, planes, trains, and automobiles. Oh, right. That's right. Kevin Bacon can. Damn it. Um, Okay. I'm really out of steam here, you guys. Can't remember what that last fucking museum movie was called. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Year of Our Lives with Kurt Russell and Robin Williams. Oh, that's not the name of it. What's it called? Best of Times. Best of Times. Chad is our winner. Taylor Hockford. Chad, you did it. Awesome, Chad. Okay, so... You knew Quicksilver. What's the Robin Williams movie where he plays Armistead Mopan and it's about uh, uh, T.J. Leroy and uh, Co- Tony Collette's in it? And she's got this. She has the pretend family, and he comes to the Midwest. To... What the hell? What? What's it called? What's it called? The Night Listener. The Night Listener. Oh, God wow. damn it! Damn, you good? Yeah, that's okay. good. That's a good movie. Robin's yeah. awesome in that. Mm. Oh, okay. It's a really, really t- taut movie. She's she's like uh, T.J. Leroy. She's lied about her whole past and everything. And he's an author who comes out from San Francisco, and it was really good. Wow, that is Nothing blew up, so you guys awesome. wouldn't like it. But it's one of those talking movies, like dialogue and character development and shit like that. Yeah, so like, mm. What's mind. the third night of the museum called? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, I was, I was, oh, no, you're right, I was Man. trying to think of Hollow Man. Oh, no. Yeah. With that one where Damn. I was like, he's like, and they're like, that was, that was Hollow okay. Man. But, uh, was Kevin Bacon in Tremors 2 as well? He was not. He was no, not, I think right? He, I think he dipped Fred immediately. Flatliners. Yeah. Flatliners. Flatliners. That's good. Which one? JFK, of course. JFK. Rottweilers? Yeah. Apollo 13. <laughs> Flatliners. Yeah, like, there's really a lot. So many. There's so many. But none of you know, but nobody knows the third night of this museum. No, it no, was, no, we did Dead Poets Society. Poet Society. Sleepers. Sleepers. That's a good one. That's a good one. Sleepers. Sleepers. Bacon Old dogs. Yeah. Old dogs. Old dogs. Oh, this is crazy. I was, thinking, I was sitting on dead again. The Secret of the Tomb is the third. I got to commit that to memory because there's a lot of actors in that. All right, well, great job to all of us. Nice little tribute to Robin here at the Punchline. Now is the time when we promote ourselves. Uh, Amy, what have you got to plug? Thursday, August 1st, I'll be in Salem, Oregon at the Capital City Theater. And the second weekend in August, I will be in Boise, Idaho at Liquid Laps. Ooh. 
Okay. Go to all my dates at Amer- what? <laughs> amymillercomedy.com or follow me on Twitter, Amy Miller, and listen to my podcast, Who's Your God? And I'll be out front selling pillowcases and albums. Nice. Thank you, Amy. Can I go now? Yeah. Oh, if you want to go now, you can. Yeah. We'll definitely be able to talk more freely. Yeah, yeah. We're, it's going to get real mannish now. Uh, where is uh, Ralph? Come get your prizes, Ralph. Yeah. Where's he at? Oh, he's over there. Oh, sorry, Ralph. Sit down. It's Ray. Sit down, Ralph. Oh, yeah, it's Ray. No, where's Ray? Yeah, he knew. The right guy knew. There you go, dude. Do you want your name tag back? Do you want to give it back oh, to him? Yeah. Do you want it back? He doesn't want it back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to throw it to him. Watch your eyes, everybody. Yeah, those were some pointy corners. Thanks, Ray. Congratulations, Ray. Oh, oh, oh. You get this poster also. I won't throw it. I won't throw it. Uh, but yeah, grab that, and I'll uh, on your way out, I'll sign that for you if, you, uh, if you'd like that, Ray. All right, thank you. Greg Proops. Yeah. Yes. Uh, my podcast is called The Smartest Man in the World, uh, and that, uh, that's free to download on iTunes or on gregproops.com. Um, I'll be in the Tacoma and Spokane Comedy Clubs next weekend with podcasts in both clubs and stand-up as well. Making a new album here. My last album is called The Resistance. That came out last year. Guess what it's about? And um, uh, then I'm going to Edinburgh. If any of our, uh, your, your international listeners, I'll be doing Who's Line with a bunch of the British guys for the last two weeks of the Edinburgh Festival, including the mammal called Clive Anderson. And... Uh, <laughs> He'll be there, and then I'm doing a podcast in London at the Soho Theater on August 28th. Neat. Yeah, it'll be fun. Thank so, you, Greg. And then we're doing Nightmare Before Christmas Live in December in, uh, uh, in Glasgow, um, uh, London at Wembley, and in uh, Dublin as well. That's the first week of December. Whoa. That's awesome. Yeah. With Danny Elfman and Catherine O'Hare and a full orchestra. Yeah, so everybody. We show the movie and we and play an orchestra. Awesome. I Ducks saw it man. at the Hollywood Bowl yeah. last summer. It was amazing. Or last October, I guess. Yeah. And, um, but uh, <laughs> could you do a, uh, do a line from, that you do in the movie? Oh, I'd be happy to. <laughs> Won't they be impressed? I am a genius. <laughs> See how I transform this old rat into a most delightful hat. But my love, favorite one I get to do I is, love uh, it. Uh, I am the one hiding under the stairs. Fingers <laughs> like snakes and spiders in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I could listen to that all night. Uh, that is nice that is work, awesome. Bone Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone oh. seen Jack? <laughs> He's been up there all night. <laughs> I've seen the movie a lot now. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I guess you have to stand in front of it the whole time, waiting for your parts. Uh, but such such a fun thing. <laughs> now, what the, what's the crawl crowd laughing about over there? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so thank you to the Punchline. Thank you to the city of San Francisco for being smart about keeping this place open. If it's open year-round, I could do this show in the colder months. Uh, <laughs> I thought August was one of the colder months. And one more time for all of my guests, Amy Miller, Chad Opitz, and Greg Proops. As always, positive energy, motherfuckers. <laughs> See, one of the producers of the show is here, and we can't even get the theme song on. <laughs> He's such a dumb motherfucker. <laughs>